Sorry, Mom. Don't watch this. So, who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? There was this one guy, and my boyfriend and I make fun of him all the time. And I won't use his name because it's really terrible, but I had hooked up with him, and I never went back because he had hyped it up so much, so fucking much. And I was like, wow, this is going to be fantastic. Wow. You're going you're gonna to flip me over. You're going to do all this crazy you're gonna magic mic dancing to me. Like, that's fantastic. And then I get there, and we do it, and I'm like, this lasted for 15 minutes. You didn't do anything. You finished. I didn't. And then he's blowing up my phone. And he's like, "Don't wasn't that amazing? Amazing. Don't you want to come he back? He actually thinks the performance was good. Like he, he thinks still it was good. No, it, and it, it didn't go on for like one day. It went on until I met my boyfriend, and then he was he was still calling me and everything. And I was like, wow, like I didn't even put in my best work, and you're like hung up over me. Oh my god. And he had told me, and, and don't get me wrong, I am all for the kinky stuff. And like this was like a Tinder swipe, right? And he had asked me, he's like, the next time we do it, I want you to go shove a wooden spoon up my ass. And I'm like, we haven't which even. Way? Which way? I know. <laughs> which that, way? That's it was, it wasn't know. specified. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? So I'm like, oh my god, we did missionary, sir. You did sir. not even flip me to do doggy, and a doggy is kind of a standard now. I yeah, think. I think that's wasn't doggy. Now. He didn't choke. He didn't pull hair. It was very, 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 very vanilla. It was very disappointing, and I never went back. I, I'm very proud of myself. I never went back. Usually, I would, in my hoe days, I would have said, okay, I'll give you a second chance. I'll give you a chance to prove yourself because I'm a nice person, and I would fake it. I would fake the orgasm so I would be done with it. I know I was never gonna see them again. But this man, not even a man, boy, it was terrible. Absolutely terrible. terrible. Probably one of the worst sexual experiences I have encountered. And I was in a sorority and I dealt with frat boys. So you the the, the bar set the, the bar, bar set, set high. You get the drunk sex and the yeah. like no effort the, bullshit for exactly, sure. Exactly. Yeah. Where it's just like one, two, done. And I'm like, you went in? <laughs> he definitely made it worse by hyping it up, right? Like you would have just been like, ah, oh, another my shitty fuck, you know? Yeah, my expectations. He was like, I'm gonna do this to you, I'm gonna make you do this. And I love dirty talk. Like I love sex. It's like a fantastic thing. Same, same. And I'm I just like, oh, okay. You're, but I follow through. Mm -hmm. If I'm saying that I'm going to deep throat you with my no gag reflex throat, which is fantastic, then I'm going to do that to you and I'm going to follow through. Yeah. But you better, you know, return the favor. Yeah. Right? Don't be like, I'm going to make you fucking come everywhere and then be yeah. like, yeah, I, I just like got myself off with your vagina. Like, exactly. <laughs> basically, that's what some guys and, do. And I swear. literally, I left and he's like, oh, do you want to stay and cuddle? I'm like, no. I literally left. I was like, no, I got to get, get home and take care. Of myself. <laughs> yeah. I, gotta, you know, I, can't, I can't even do it here I, in your presence because it, you it have was ruined so me. Shitty. It was so <laughs> shitty. And I oh felt so bad for because he was a decent looking guy. Like yeah. he wasn't, he, he, was a, he was a six or a seven. When you had tequila, he was definitely an eight. Mm -hmm. But, and, and, he's, and he, he wasn't like he had a lack of a dick. He had a decent sized penis. Like it wasn't the biggest I've ever seen, but it wasn't the smallest. And I'm like, you just don't know how to work with what you got. Yeah. I don't know. There's the rant of the day. So no, sorry just, if that guy's sees this I we're not sorry I'm not sorry at least I, I don't think I could be sorry about just that don't hype it up if you yeah. can't follow through I did tell that guy and I was like you are not good and I was like I did not have fun I was very proud of myself because I was a high-class bitch to him it was fantastic and when he didn't get the message yeah. he literally just kept coming back and it wasn't until I told him I was like I am in a relationship like I am dating someone I'm serious about this guy please stop calling me or like you're like this is gonna go to legal like we're yeah. you know if it was someone that I like, like a fuck buddy, like I had this one fuck buddy, he was fantastic. Yeah. He was great. I highly recommend. Highly recommend. And this this man let me eat a donut off his dick, like a full blown the donut, and it broke the donut, and it was. It was on a big there. dick. Let's put that in there. It was a big <laughs> dick. And he, it, it was great. It was fantastic. And I, at that time, I loved donuts. I held the record for as many. I could eat a lot of donuts. Like I ate two dozen donuts in one sitting. Like, oh I'm not kidding. God. So oh I God. wanted to try it, you know. And, and this was way before I met my boyfriend. But it was. I put the the Krispy Kreme donut on his dick, and then I went for it, giving him a blowjob, and then I slowly started to eat it, and it was fantastic. Fantastic. But he let me try it and so like and I asked him I was like, how was I and I was like give me some pointers and he did he was like you do this You make a weird face when you do this. And I was like, thank you for telling yeah, exactly. me I'm gonna, If you're a very sexual person like I'm a very sexual person You're a very sexual person if you're a very sexual person and you're tired of the one-night stands get yourself a fuck buddy I can't recommend it enough. They are perfection. There is there's a level of respect there's a level of confidence. There's a level of trust as well. And then you don't have to worry about being in a committed relationship. That was probably having that 
man as a fuck buddy, it was fantastic because it was a mutual thing. Mm -hmm. And when he would, you know, get out of that three months talking trial period relationship, he would call me and I'd be like, great, let's do this. Let, let's go. And then same vice versa. I had gotten out of like, I was like obsessed with this guy. It was like a lustful thing. And I remember I went to that guy's house and I was like, here you go. And he was like, you don't want to stay. And I was like, no, I have an appointment. And he's like, you have an appointment at 8 p.m. And I was like, yeah, I have a dick appointment. A and dick I, appointment. I, Bye. To clarify. And I wanted to clarify that. To, to clarify, it yeah. is a dick appointment. It's a dick appointment. And I walked away like a badass bitch. And I went right to that guy's house. Maybe it was a little whorish, but I went right to that house and I was like, palate cleanse me. Like, yeah, and no. he did. He got the job done. Guys do this shit. I don't see why girls can't do this shit, especially yeah. if they're like, okay, with that, you and, know, they're and, not gonna regret it and they know the guy like exactly and my thing is like I'd already slept with you so my body count isn't going up you know yeah. what I like you know yeah. what to do to get the job done and then like you know what to expect you know it's gonna be good it's not gonna like be some drunk shit that you find at a bar and yep. then you like feel bad the next day because you're like that was yep. fucking retarded like why did I even do that you look at them and you're yeah. like yeah. fuck <laughs> like the alcohol <laughs> off, and you're like, oh, god. oh god please leave now right. but, why are you then, still here and then it's also like those fuck buddies like I would say to make sure you know and like establish this is don't make love there is a huge difference between making love and physical sex. And I've experienced both and they are both equally fantastic. And your fuck buddy, you just say, hey, like, don't make love to me. Don't make me feel beautiful. Make me feel sexy. Make me feel like a porn star. Make me feel this, this, and this. Yeah. You're boosting my confidence while I am getting my nut. You're not, you know, stroking. I don't know what's another word, like stroking my ego or you're not. Yeah. I guess, but there, there is a difference. And I just think that a fuck buddy, especially while you're in college, is fantastic. Like you don't have time. You don't have time. You shouldn't have time to be in a relationship in college. Mm -hmm. That is your time to experiment. And I am extremely happy that I had that experience. And I'm also like, disappointed in myself that I was in a relationship because I was still learning about myself. I was still learning what I liked and I was experimenting with a guy that didn't give a shit about me versus if I did it with a fuck buddy, yeah. then I could be experimenting with someone that genuinely, and he genuinely liked me as a person. Well, as far as I knew, he'd be like, we hung out, we would go to bingo, like we would be, we were we friends. Bingo. It was great. That was our thing. If we you go could go to bingo with a man, yeah, and, and all your friends. It, it was great. We went to bingo. We got trashed at bingo. Highly recommend. If you haven't gone to bingo, it's literally 20 bucks. You get two free drinks, you get wine or just like vodka on the rocks, you get trashed, and then you go hook up after. And there were some nights where he would be like, Darian, can we skip bingo? And I was like, yeah, let's just skip bingo. And that just meant straight to the sex. Yeah. Like, do the sex. <laughs> I, I like I like this bingo thing. Like, it's, don't don't wine and dime. You don't spend a bunch of money. Twenty yeah. bucks bingo, yeah. two drinks. Let's and go. It, and it's great because bingo is an hour long. Okay, you have fifteen different games in bingo, and you can win up to five hundred dollars each round. I walked out of there with two grand. I got two grand. I was drunk, and I got dicked down. There is nothing <laughs> nothing better than that. <laughs> And he, and he gave me donuts. I was oh in heaven. My God. I was a happy like, okay. 10 year old. This guy sounds great. So <laughs> what stopped you both from like wanting more because he had your needs met, you had his needs we met? We tried more in the beginning. We did. We, we went out on a few dates and it was great and we vibed very well, but we were both so young. And, and he, he is a fantastic guy. He, he just a stand-up guy, and I hope he sees this. And he, and he'll, he'll know exactly. He'll know who he is. He'll know who. He <laughs> and ate a donut off his dick. Like, come on. You, you were the donut that. dick. Guy. I was the donut dick girl. <laughs> oh god! So the people that he sent that photo to. Oh my god! <laughs> it was me. <laughs> I owned it. It was great time of my life. We just didn't mesh. Well, Definitely he not. liked to have fun in different ways. So he would like to drink a lot. I like to smoke weed. You just have like nothing in common. Well, yes and no. I'm a big raver. I love EDM. He likes more of like the country and like he, he, he gets to love the rap and it was just our lives. We couldn't push them together, mm -hmm. you know, and he was a great friend. He was a really, really great friend friend. I'm really happy that we tried to date in the beginning and then we realized we're just friends. Like it's better that way. I didn't have to worry about shaving my legs, which was great. I know Drew, he didn't care. You know, I'd have to worry about prepping myself. You know, when you're like going for a one night stand or you're going out, you're like, oh, I gotta look good. I gotta prep it. You know, I didn't have to worry about that with him. He didn't care because we were friends. We were there for one or two reasons, enjoying each other's yeah. company and having sex. Yeah. You weren't supposed to be like his fucking trophy wife. You no. were just supposed to no. be like the person that he could get off to and it was exactly. fun and hot. Like, exactly. And vice versa. He was fantastic. Fantastic. He worked out great. The, and the dick game was strong. This stuff was great. This that stuff, stuff is, great. is also great. That, that, is great. that right there is great. <laughs> no, <laughs> and that was great. Yeah, it was, it's it was all great. great. And I mean, he had great rhythm too. And the, and the, the thing that I would say is he, he wasn't the normal guy I would go for. Like I, I wouldn't, yeah, like he's not my type. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I was attracted to him, obviously, but it wasn't like, oh, I want to meet, I want you to meet my parents. I want you to, you know, yeah. come to brunch with me. I want to introduce you to everybody. I want to take you to church. That was the other thing. 
something. I was a very big church person back then and he was not. And so for me, I was like, mm -hmm. that's a deal breaker. And now yeah. I'm like, it's not that much of a deal breaker. Like at that point in your life, it was. Yeah, Fuck it. exactly. You know? Yeah, whatever works. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's so tired. Too much running around. Yeah. Have you ever hooked up with someone that was like, I'm hooking up with you specifically because you're a notch on my belt? Yes. 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 I did it. I did it with a race car driver <laughs> and it was fantastic. And I was fucking insane. I, I don't know what I was thinking at that time. I really don't. I, we went from a party back to the house that I was staying at. And then I was like, oh shit, I don't want to do it in this house. Like it's not my house. So then I followed him in my car to his apartment. I didn't know his address. I don't, I didn't have his phone number. I only knew his first name and I'm following following him going down the I-15 across town. I lived at that time like on Craig and 95 and he lived BFE like in Henderson. So I'm like, and it's like 7 a.m. And I'm like, I'm trying to get this done. And like I want this guy, like I want the oh. notch of my belt. And now I can say that I slept with a race car driver and it's fantastic. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that for a lot of like, there's a lot of famous people that I would fuck, but like they're not even that hot. Like if they stood next to people yeah. that I like in real life, yeah. they're just like average or whatever. But it's like, you're famous or you were like hot in a show or something. Yeah. And it's just like, like Tyler Cameron, I'm just like, <laughs> like just I will present myself I would you know that's my hall pass that's that I've talked to my boyfriend that's my hall pass his is Shay Mitchell I'm great I was like I will watch you and Shay Mitchell that's fantastic she's hot I agree but I'm just like you know but I don't know Got off on a tangent. I remember the first time that I learned about masturbating. It was a guy, he he was a sophomore and I was going into my freshman year. So I was like eighth grade, freshman summer. And he told me like, oh, use a marker. And he's like, use the fat one. And it, the fat one didn't fit. Like this is my first time sticking anything up there. You know, I was like, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know where it was. Why does this guy know about this? That's well, cause I he's a, I know, he's a sophomore in high school. So I, I was like, oh, your experience this is so fun. Oh my God, and, boys, Oh my God, I got in so much trouble for it. My parents found my phone and like saw all the Sex oh it my was god, terrible. that's embarrassing. It that's was horrible. horrible. It was terrible. And oh, that's a whole different story. But he had told me, he's like, I'm like, this doesn't really do anything for me. Like, I don't know what's happening. Like, I'm a little wet, but I think I just peed. Like, I don't know what's going on. So he told me, he's like, go into the shower and where the faucet is, stick your legs up and let the faucet water just hit your clit. And it was fantastic. It was fantastic. And I shit you not, that little skinny marker, when I finished, that shit shot up out of my vagina. And I was like, there's stuff coming out. And I was like, am I peeing? <laughs> like, what is this? Oh and I was my like, God. It was my first time squirting. And I was like, this is what it's supposed to feel yeah, like. And like, I, you just know. Like, you know. If someone's like, I don't know if I've had an orgasm, you like, have you know. You have it. You know. like, and just... let's talk about your first blowjob. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. So, sorry, mom. Don't watch this. That's <laughs> She's just, already like, oh, that should be the first thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll sorry, put it in the beginning. Yeah. Sorry, mom. Don't, don't watch, watch this. this. And now, my first blowjob was with a guy. At, can I use his name? Isaac Kong. And <laughs> first and last name. <laughs> uh, he lives at. <laughs> 333. Three, three. I, I send a mail. I think he still works at Pizza Hut, probably. It's like my first like, <laughs> I don't know. Kudos to you. I'm leaving all of this I now. Know. You're gonna get him like I something. Mean, I, he doesn't have a social media, like none of that. Like I, I did a little stalking like way back when and I was like, where are you? Like, what are you up to? I wanna make sure you're doing it. He was my first kiss. I had my Aww. first kiss my junior year of high school. Wow. Yeah, like I was I was very like Praise Jesus, you know, like saving myself for marriage. And then I met him and he was like, we broke up because I didn't want to give up my virginity. I was like, no, I'm not ready, you know? But I was like, I'm willing to try a blowjob. Well, I had talked to a school friend about it and he had said nibble a little bit. And me being me, I was like, okay, I can bite. Like, that's fine. I can fucking bite. I had braces at the time. Oh my God. And this is the only time I will ever allow a man to hit me. I was going for it and I literally took a bite out of it like it was a 4th of July hot dog. And I went, <sighs> And I chomped, and he whoop, clocked me real quick. And we were and we were in a car too, like we oh were in a my we were in a car. And I felt so bad for him. And he was like, "Why the fuck did you do that?" And I was like, "This is my first blowjob. I'm so sorry." I was like, "My friend told me to nibble." He goes, "Nibble, not bite." And I was like, "That was a nibble, wasn't it?" He goes, "Nibble like you're eating like a small cracker." And I'm like, I don't eat cracker small. I shove that thing in my mouth. Yeah, I, fucking, I eat a cracker. I don't fucking nibble. <laughs> oh I my felt god. So bad. But. He was comfortable with me enough after he blocked me to tell me and help me. Cause a lot of times they, I, you don't know, right? That was my first blowjob and I'm so sorry. I've Aww. learned, I've definitely learned. I haven't chomped like that. I've learned the nibble, right? It's just, just like a little bit on the tip. Just like, like a little bunny. But no one told me. That guy said like, yeah, go for it, nibble. And I was like, uh -huh. okay, I'm going for it. And oh I, my God. I Did you like bite the tip hard or was it like the shaft? It like, was the shaft. That thing was in my throat. I went, oh my God. And I, it, it was in there. It was in there like somewhere. And I had braces and I remember my braces got caught on his pubes. 
<laughs> oh my god, what is this story? This is the worst story I've ever heard. <laughs> and then he hits you. Did he apologize for hitting you even though he kind of had to hit you? <laughs> like, I would 100, I 100% that's you. I never condone men hitting women. Let's just put that out there. But in that instance, if I understood why he hit You me. understand the instinct to hit someone who's trying to bite off your With penis. braces on. With I, braces. And I had the rubber bands too. I didn't even take the rubber bands off. Oh so my god, the ones that keep your mouth closed? Yes. Oh my god, I had that shit too. Kill me now. You had braces in high school? Me too. That's the worst. It's the worst. I got teased so much. Oh, I, seriously. It's like, why didn't you do that in elementary school? Yeah. Girl? You and, like, and, you know, know. and you know what sucks is, and, and maybe because my parents couldn't afford it at the time, because the braces are expensive, but I had gotten checked for them for like fourth or fifth grade. And I didn't get them until sophomore year. Sophomore, yeah, junior same. year. I was yeah. like freshman, junior sophomore year. when I did yeah. it. When I had and and I got so teased. Weird. And I, I remember my senior year when I got them off, I was like, yeah, you're yeah. like, I just got 60 yeah. times hotter. With like 32 oh. A titties. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, you got straight teeth and you won't use them to bite off a dick. Oh yeah, You're I good. Won't. I won't. You're golden. I'll use them to bite something else. What, what are you gonna bite? Whatever they want. You whatever know? they, whatever and, they want. And that's the thing, I will always ask a guy now, I'm like, what are you into? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, do you want to be choked? Do you want like your nipples licked? Like, what, what are you into? You want a finger up there? Like, what? You want a finger up yeah. there? Yeah. You're, you're, you've been an excellent dom. You would be an excellent fucking dom. See, that's the thing, I would be, but I'm so dominant in my everyday life that I yeah. like to just kind of, I don't like to make decisions in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Like, and every once in a while I will. I, I do this, this one move, so I go like this, and like the tip is right here, and I go, <laughs> and, I, and I like cuck hold him. So I pull it right up to the tip, and I go, it's like over and over again, and then I rub it, and, go, and I just go for it. What, you cuck hold him? What? That's not is that a cuck hold? No, a cuck hold oh. is when you fuck another man in front of your man. That is, uh, that is the wrong <laughs> use of the she, word. She I, doesn't cuck hold him. I, does, I don't cuck hold him. I'm learning. I go like this, and I cuck hold him. <laughs> and I bring in his best friend, and I'm like, yeah, fuck me. <laughs> what is, what's the, I don't cuck hold. Edge? Are you, is what, it are edgy? what are we talking about? Like, just like make it like like so, okay, move so this away is, or like <laughs> this is our penis. This is the penis minimum size. Minimum, minimum, Min minimum size. Expectation. Yes. So let's say that this is the tip, right? And you know how like that, that little lip, right? Mm -hmm. And so if you put your this part right here and you squeeze. Not too hard because it's very sensitive right there, and you kind of lift it up just a smidge. This whole part, it's like the most sensitive part of their penis, mm -hmm. kind of, is very, it's like all the blood is being kind of cut off, but all the blood in here can't go down. Yeah. So it's just stuck. And so then you, you gotta start slow, and you just, you just go like that. You like pat it and rub you just it? Pat it, rub it. And you get, when, when he's like, oh my god, oh my god, you just kind of go a little harder. And then you rub it to like get the sensation. Because think about it, it's like if, if a guy is like hitting, like flicking, flicking your nipples, mm -hmm. right? And you're like, okay, that's great. And then they pinch it. And you're like, oh, and oh. then they flick it again. And then, yeah. and then they, and you know, it's yeah. Cool. And so it goes like that. <laughs> I'm learning a move today. I, I fucking, that's not cuck holding. I don't know what that is. Not cuck holding for sure. It's also like when you have a, like a kid with like some other dude and you don't tell your husband he's raising someone else's kid. It's like literally nothing good comes out of cuck holding <laughs> for, for you or me. That is so, not <laughs> what I meant. I want to make it clear. We don't cuck hold here. We don't cuck hold. <laughs> I'm learning just now what that meant. Oh my god. Have you ever said that to your boyfriend? Yes. Friend? Oh my god. Does he think that's what it is? I have no clue. I'm the more, I think I'm the more experienced. No, 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 no. I'm the more open to non-vanilla things. He's more experienced than me, for sure. And I, and everyone was like, how can you deal with that? I'm like, I love it. And I was like, because he knows the difference between physical sex and lovemaking sex. Yeah. And he knows how to do both. And it's fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic. I should go see him tonight. <laughs> you should go see him tonight. I live with him, duh. Of course I'm gonna see him. I'm a dog with I him. I should go home tonight and not go cuck him. <laughs> like, what? Oh my, what if like you've said it to him and he thought that's what it is and then he's like guy talking and he says like, I love it when Darian cuck holds me. Like what if that's happened in the group chat? I'm so sorry if it has. That's not what we, <laughs> that's not what we talking about. <laughs> So what? So cock holding is when you fuck another yes, guy. Yes, let me give you like a straight up fucking- Urban Dictionary. <laughs> yes. I wasn't allowed to have Urban Dictionary growing up, okay? Oh I merely was God. allowed to have Google. Not simply a man whose wife slash girlfriend cheats on him, but rather a man who actually gets aroused by knowing or seeing her in sexual- Yeah, so like some guy who actually likes to watch it is the porn version. So like in porn, if a guy's in the corner and it's like weird, that's like the cuckold. But like in real life, it's literally like just fucking someone else. Like that's not what happened. Yeah, so you're like literally insinuating. See, this is this is why I thought it was a cuckold. Because a cuckold, I'm holding a cock. Like oh, that's Oh, so like a cuckold. Okay. Like it, that's not so I was like, oh maybe that's the word for it. It's a cuckold. Oh my god. I don't do cuckolds. 
No. Um, my boyfriend doesn't do cuckolds. No, he's definitely not into it. No. We don't do He that. doesn't like me flirting with other men. I don't like him flirting with other girls. It's very, like, that's not, that would never be a thing in our vocabulary. A man whose wife is unfaithful. <laughs> I am not unfaithful. I can tell you that much. I'm tapping his dick and being unfaithful. The two things I yeah. do. Oh my god, that's so, so funny. funny. I always say like I'm kind of a cup girl because I actually kind of like it. You know, like really? it turns me on. Yeah, like it turns. I I really like the idea of like him with someone else or like me watching really? or me. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm like into that. I would smack a bitch. You <laughs> would smack a bitch. And I, not, that's like most people. I I get that, I, I but think, like. Okay, so let me ask this because I always thought like if a dick was good, mm -hmm. right? And I'm sure yours is great, right? I have uh, a great dick. Yeah. That's do you want to? You want to? You want to? Cuckold? No, I, my I, dick? I, with yours, with my dick. Personally, yours, yes. It's not, small. It's small, but we can make it work. It's the motion. You it's know what? <laughs> size. I can. I can definitely say this. Size does not matter. If you know how to use what you've got, it is fantastic. What I, about a micro penis? I've never experienced one. Okay, so micro penises are up in the air. We don't know, but like I mean, average, a little I've, below average. I've like been it. with a really big guy. I like, I, I, I shit you not. <laughs> I shit. How? how? Exactly, it hurt. <laughs> it was not fun. Oh it did god. not do great. I also learned I don't have a gag reflex while that. Oh my god, and he's I, like I mean, rip your jaw open. It was uh, painful. <laughs> Size does not matter. Does it, and the thing is, like, he also didn't know how to use it. Like, he got to be careful with that shit. Like, that shit's a weapon. I remember when he helicopter. He, he was he was a friend too. He helicoptered, it and I was like, "You're hitting your own belly button. You're literally." It goes up and like, pop. and I. Oh man, I wish I could show a photo, but you can't do that. But it's just, and he knows who he is, and he knows you know exactly who the fuck you are. And it was great. It was uncomfortable when he would literally like get up. Like he was in my cervix. Like I was yeah. like, "This is not something you should be doing right now." And, but size. Doesn't matter. Most okay, okay. Your, Let me. Your penis would be fantastic. My penis is an extra micro penis. Okay. Yes, like, fine. We'll I, I don't it. even think you'll feel it. It it's would be fine. really sad. We'll, we'll work with it. We can work with we'll it. We'll work with it. We can get toys. Wait. Okay. So a slightly below average dick that knows how to work it. But then what if it's a like eight or nine inch dick that also knows how to work it? Like the same amount of knowing how to work it. Is there not a size preference at all for you? Not for me. Okay. Not for me. I, I just think because also it's it's not necessarily about the dick size. Like I. I would, I would much rather have a man who has a smaller penis that eats me out mm -hmm. very fucking good. Like, okay, I, so I, like dick size is just lower on the totem pole for you in yeah. terms of like needs and yeah. stuff. It, okay. It's way lower. Like I love, oh, this is how my boyfriend got me. The first night that we like went out and on our date, he made out with me and I was like, oh my God, like this, this make out tops every other makeout that I've ever experienced. Like it Aww. just, it, it was, and that I, I probably would have finished. If he had kept going for like another 10 minutes in that just whatever he was doing, I probably would have finished. But thank God he worked his way down. He was just, he, he was in there, it was fantastic. And 10 out of 10, I don't recommend because that's just for me. Yeah, but, I don't recommend <laughs> it's just for me. But it, it, it doesn't, it, I guess it depends on every woman, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like if a woman prefers like a really big penis because she just really wants every part of her to be filled, then yeah, go for it. She's not into like the kissing my neck or anything, but sometimes I'm like, if you just make out with me and you kiss my neck and you squeeze my titties and you're just in there, you're not even pumping. It's almost the same for me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah. I could, I could come to like no movement. Yeah. If, no like, movement. You get me there in like other yeah. ways or like, just like, just stick it in and, and just like chill. Yeah. And then like, or sometimes like I'll like squirm a little bit. Like, and then, on. Yeah. It's, like it's hot. It's, it's very hot. It's, it's yeah, it's amazing. I just think it, it's preference and I would have not known these preferences if I didn't please myself. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's working my way up from the little skinny Crayola marker <laughs> to the bigger one, to the bigger ones, and and mm -hmm. just progressing. And, yeah. And and I'm sorry, I don't like when guys are like my dick is so big, I stretched her out. We push babies out of our yeah, vagina. Yeah, it fucking goes back in like two like, hours. It goes, like, like it goes like it, it, it's literally nothing. Like so that's why it's like oh I'm t I hate it when guys be like I'm too big, I'm gonna break your little tiny frame. And I'm like no you won't, yeah. no you won't. Oh my, I remember this one time. I'm double jointed in every part of my body, like. Like, oh my god! I can like it's every time. Oh my god! Do it again. Oh, yeah. I'm close to the. Wait. Oh my. Every time. Hips do the same thing. Oh my god. So and like I can I can put my arms like that. What the like, hell? Like, like that's like, wild. Like that. Oh my yeah, god. It, I'm I'm very double jointed. And <laughs> so when there was one time we were in missionary and my hips both of them popped and the guy froze and he was like oh my god. He's like, I broke you. And I was like, honey, you're not that special. You're not that great. <laughs> you're not that you're special. You're not that great. And I'm just like, I don't know why I was going with that. But 
it's just, I don't know, it's preference. Yeah, it's you're preference. not impressed by a guy who's just like touting his giant yeah. cock. You're like, and well, how well do you work it? Like, what are yeah. you gonna do otherwise? For exactly, play? and I will say, the whole saying, if like once you go black, you never come back. Like, kudos to black men. I love, I love the way you look, I love the chocolate. I did two black guys, not at the same time, and I came back. <laughs> Not, not at the same Especially time. Especially with black guys. It's yeah, like, not at the same time. Oh Separate God. occasions, years apart. <laughs> and I came back each time. I was like, I did not have fun. That was not what I expected. I can cross that off my checklist. I've been with the black guy. I've been with two. It's just, it. I, I like my white men. Like, white <laughs> men is where it at. Oh, Ali Wong, a great comedian. And I, and I get this thought, like, why do you like white men? Why don't you go for like an Asian guy? And I'm like, because the power that you feel, and this is from Ali Wong, when a white man is eating you out and you are towering over him and you're like, I could just push your head right now. And I'm like, I'm colonizing the colonizer. Like, fuck it. <laughs> oh. And I'm like, I, it's fantastic. It's great. That's great. It's great.